Hello everyone, welcome to another Blender tutorial. This is Tanner James. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make rotor spin on anything. A helicopter or a box. Today we're just going to be doing a box. So, once and for all, we'll use the default cube. And so to do that, let's just hit S4 and SZ just to bring it down like that. About like so. Okay, good. Now tab into edit mode on the cube and hit W subdivide do that two more times so and all you do it three times and take the four faces in the middle and extrude those and scale them at the top about like that that looks nice no smooth or anything like that that wouldn't look good so now all we need to do is bring up a shift A hit a plane and hit SX after you bring it up and SY there we go so it's kinda like a blade tab back into edit mode and just extrude it up a little bit and yeah it's great so we can just bring it down in there perfect hit shift D and then hit RZ 90 great and click on both rotors and hit control J now they're both one mesh it's a nice thing to learn so now let's add an armature bone so bring that up and make sure that it's about the height of the bottom of it the round point is at about the height of the top of your rotors right in the middle of it perfect so now all you need to do is hit the rotors and then hit the bone. That's very critical in what you do. Then hit Control P, then with automatic weights. Now, if you grab the bone and rotate it, it'll rotate the propellers. That's good. So, that's good and all, but we need to animate it now. So let's let's see here. Okay, so now turn on automatic keyframing right here, and well, you selected the bone and hit G and then just click because the computer thinks that it moved it just a little bit so it added a keyframe. Go to the very end of your timeline and hit N to reveal the properties panel and under rotation on the Z axis make it 5000 degrees. So now when you play it the rotor starts spinning. That's great. <laughs> So now if you just want to do a little extra credit here and just texture it, I'll do that. I'll show you how to. So add a new material and make the specular type Ward ISO. Make the slope 0 0.025 and the intensity 0.75. And under mirror, check that box. And under reflectivity, hit 0.25. Actually, we'll just make that 0 0.03. Okay, and if you want, you can add a texture, hit make a new one, hit both, bring the alpha all the way, okay, first of all, turn on the ramp here, bring the alpha all the way up to one, and make it a grayish color, both of them, okay, so it's pretty gray looking, and under clouds, make it from Blender Original to Cell Noise. That'll make it have lots of squares. Turn on normal down underneath geometry. And that'll kind of make it look more 3D. Because it has shadowing. So if you render it. There you go. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Now we can just add a quick rotor uh, material. No texture. Make the intensity the same. Ward ISO. Slope 0 0.025 and intensity 0.75 don't worry about any mirror under the diffuse panel just make it a dark gray something like that so now if you render it there you go yeah something like that maybe not quite that gray something so you can diffuse and go into your camera view you might need to adjust it just to make it nicer and yeah so, just so we can render our animation onto our desktop, let's go down under Output, and I put mine on QuickTime already, 
and if you want you can put it on your desktop anywhere I like to put it there because I know where it is once you have that all put in go up to render and hit render animation and that'll start rendering so I'll be back with you in a few minutes hello everyone I'm back and I'm just gonna show you the finished version of my rendered animation so I have it on my desktop I already named it and I'll just go into full view so that you can see it and just play it there you go you have your rotors all spinning and it looks great so yeah thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope that you learned something and enjoyed it so I hope to catch you in another tutorial see ya